welcome to tech city software tech channel this is a tutorial on ajax dollar dot ajax which is the workhorse uh, function of uh, ajax in jquery and uh, this is actually part two in the part one we saw how to load html with ajax now with this background uh, i will go to visual studio code wherein i have uh, created some setup so this uh, setup project is in uh, express.js which is a node.js module for uh, routing and all that I am using express.js so here I have got a main.js which is a javascript file which will be included inside the html file here and this index of the html file uh, which is uh, having a form element here with the input text and the submit button and also there is a uh, javascript uh, that is jquery cdn and also is here so this is a file which I am going to include this file is included here now with this I will go to uh, 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 this one uh, express now express I am requiring it here with the body parser and path and also I am starting the express listening at 9000 9, this is a body parser and a static is assets folder it is inside the assets folder here so there is a assets folder you can see this this is the asset folder inside this main.js file is there so that uh, I am assigning a static value for it here uh, static express or static and this is the first route which I have created this first route uh, will um, uh, it is a get request which will render the this index.html file now I will create uh, one more route uh, for uh, uh, listening to post request from the uh, client the post that I will call it as Ajax demo hmm. I will create a function after that this is how uh, we will uh, create functions in uh, I mean routing in uh, express if people are uh, express uh, this is a uh, this is not actual tutorial on express however uh, if you are new to express uh, you can see my part one where I have explained uh, uh, way initially how to set up all these things of course it is very uh, lightly I have exp explained oh, now uh, where data so the posted data which comes to this back uh, this one is been req dot body hmm? that is a place where body will contain this data which has been posted from this hmm? it will come inside this so I am going to use that then I am going to console dot log data hmm. that's about this one now I want to install one more uh, node module uh, which will ease uh, our uh, sending uh, HTTP messages back to the client that module is uh, npm i double hyphen save HTTP messages of course there is an inbuilt in express also you can send the messages but this uh, is a, it makes things much more simpler so I thought I should demonstrate so it has installed 1.0.7 HTTP MSGs fine now I will include in this uh, project huh? this uh, project HTTP M HTTP MSGs hmm? so I will require it here require hmm? Hmm? HTTP MSG Fine. Fine, I have created that. Hmm. Now I'll come down here. Then I'll use that function. So you can, by the time you got so many options are there, you can send HTML 500, 404413, 405, 404, 200, 500 Intel server. Those things you can send all sort of messages back to the, uh, the server. Now HTTP message is there. Uh, here I have got to write REQ. Res, then uh, REQ, Res, then then I have to put a JSON object. Fine. The JSON object will be initially there is a key. I will put it as from key. The value will be hmm, server. So from it, that means to say the things have come from server. From server it has come. That's what it means. This is the one route which I have created uh, in. Uh, uh, express I'll come to the front end where it is a main.js here I will uh, dollar I'll select the form there is only one form on this uh, uh, document so on submit that is on submit so on submit uh, this function should occur and event is here that is the event 
so e dot prevent default so this uh, this will prevent the submission of the form directly from there so it will be forced to use this function hmm? whatever right below that will be in action like that so otherwise it will submit if i don't put that this one will submit it off now so so i just wanted to see dollar dot ajax this is the main function which you want to use uh, url url is uh, the url just now i created ajax demo that is the url where is this this is the url which i put here huh? then comma then data which i want to post it will be data i will access it here see where my text that equal to dollar dot my text hmm? i'll tell you what is this my text hmm? that is an element on this page just html element here where is this yeah this is this is the i element hmm? which i am using it here hmm? that i'm assigned to my where so i'll put a json here i'll say text equal to my text fine so this one will assign to that then uh, method 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 is uh, post because I mean, if i don't mention this by default it will be get request then uh, content type content type is i'll come to the here for showing content types here there are top three anchor types here uh, anchor types you can see application uh, x www form url encoded multi part and form data and text dot plain by default if you don't mention that content type this one is going to be used uh, and uh, this is for sending uploading forms uh, files i mean files this is for sending uh, plain text so just i wanted to copy the spelling i don't want to make spelling mistakes that's why i came all the way hmm. fine now i'll save this i'll come back here and put the same thing here then i'll come here next turn is uh, so i have so i have put url data method content type and next one is uh, um, success success on success this function should occur hmm. if you have function so arias is the result hmm. that will be stored the success result will be stored here so i think so i did twice here at the minus, right hmm. Hmm. so that will that will alert hmm. what arias dot form so this arias is from here this form is coming from this key Hmm. So, so that's how so then in case if there is a error error so the error also there is a function triggering hmm. that is error. error so here i will uh, say console dot log error hmm. fine that's what that is a function you can see this uh, so this is how we create uh, ajax now i will uh, start the server and see if there are no errors it should work so i am starting the server going here it will start at local host 9000 yes it has served now i will say from front end from front end uh, you can see this is the from front end i will submit now see it has the alert has come as a server uh, it has responded server has sent a message to the client that has alerted here now i'll go to the server from server it has not taken there is could be some error i'll try to find out i'll pause the video i must have done some uh, small mistakes i'll find out and come back to you hmm? so the error was here this one uh, actually it's in uh, id the id has to be accessed with the Font sign here. This one I had not put, so the error was coming from there. So I'll start restart the server and show you. Hmm. Hmm. Node. I will uh, refresh from front end submit. It has come here in the back end. 
so it has come i can also it has come from text from front end so that's how the exchange of messages from client to the server server back has happened this is how we do ajax now now this is what i showed you the when the things go successful if there are errors so errors will come from the server so for that i will uh, artificially create an error here or i will show throw an error hmm so for sending errors uh, i will i mean a uh, uh, server errors there is a 500 sender that is uh, 500 send 500 so this send 500 will r uh, a r e q r e s so error is uh, invalid uh, uh, so i just so uh, invalid i'll put a comma invalid from invalid from something all right front end so that you should identify this message has come from there huh? okay this message i'm going to send back to the client and it should come in error so what i'll do is uh, here instead of success we should take this error this one should happen huh? for that i will um, uh, start the server hmm? start the server come here front end now i'll show you the console here what it will be console yeah it has shown an error so there is a error here it has come error you can see i think so you can see i, I believe i will increase the size here an internal server error from front end now if you want to display it here only so how to do that now i'll show that also i'll come here close this instead of a console i will say alert alert then uh, in alert i will use uh, uh, error error then response dot json here it has come uh, dot data hmm? so that uh, data will be shown here this what this how we can alert the uh, error also hmm? Hmm? yeah there is spelling mistake got it hmm? now i have i am starting index road node dot index i'll press here it come to here and uh, okay we'll see submit so internals error occurred invalid front end so that's how we can uh, do ajax uh, and send uh, uh, success and uh, error messages to and fro so this is for the this today and uh, next we'll see uh, ajax uh, dot uh, get uh, sorry dollar dot get dollar dot post and also promises maybe next